Nation. Today is Wednesday, October 2nd, and this is Charlotte and my wonderful partner, Natalia, reporting live from Flick and Your Elementary. Today is breaking news. Have you decided if you are coming to Trunk or Treat? It is happening on Friday, October 18th. It costs $2 per child. Sign up by October 11th to order your donuts and let the parent group know if you are coming. More breaking news. On Thursday afternoon, the Crayola group will meet in the art room. Even more news. In order to support our Tigers, let's wear all our Tiger gear. Go Tigers! I'm getting exercise for the Tigster. For what? The fun run is coming soon and I want to be ready. So jumpy jacks, stretching, and push-ups will make me run faster. The weather today is a high of 67 and low of 51. Fall looks like it's finally here. And today is a special day where we get to celebrate and thank the amazing people who help keep our school clean and safe. Custodians work very hard every day to make sure our classrooms, hallways, bathrooms, and playgrounds are tidy and ready for us to use. One of our wonderful custodians is Mr. Joel. He comes to school early in the morning and stays late in the afternoon to make sure everything is spotless. He sweeps the floors, takes out the trash, cleans the windows, and so much more. Without him, our school wouldn't be as nice and clean as it is right now. So when you see Mr. Joel today, be sure to give him a big smile and say, thank you. Let's show him how much we appreciate all his hard work and dedication. A mindset thought of the day is from Pirates of the Caribbean. The problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. Today's sports report. The Tigers are going against the Astros. Yesterday, the Lions won 42-29 to against the Seattle Seahawks. Celebrating their birthday today is Colton in 6th grade and Arlie in 5th grade. It's Tyler in 2nd grade. Happy birthday! Today's thoughts is about to tickets. Tomorrow's thoughts, I think, is ticking swim. And now for the joke of the day. What do you call a Star Wars droid that takes the long way around? What? R2-D tour. <laughs> How do you stop an astronaut's baby from crying? How? You rock it. Our fall trivia for today is our pumpkins a vegetable or a fruit. The answer is a fruit. Why are pumpkins a fruit? It might be it might seem a little bit strange of you think fruits are sweet things just like apples and bananas, but let's find out why pumpkins are a fruit. Fruit is a part of a plant that grows from a flower and has seeds on the inside. Think about an apple or a watermelon. They both have seeds, right? That's because they are fruits. Pumpkins start on a flower on a pumpkin plant. After the flower is pollinated, it turns into a pumpkin. This is just like how an apple tree starts as a flower on an apple tree. Pumpkins have seeds inside when you cut them open. What do you see? Lots of seeds, just like other fruits. Pumpkins have seeds inside them. That's another reason why pumpkins are considered fruits. Fruits come in all shapes and sizes. Some are sweet like strawberries and some are not sweet like pumpkins. But as long as they grow from a flower and they have seeds inside, they are a fruit. So the next time you see a pumpkin, you can remember that it's a special kind of fruit that can help our fall be so much funner. Accept responsibility for your actions. Be accountable for your results and take ownership of mistakes. Please stand and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bye, Falcon Nation.